What's good, Chatsu We fam? Happy 4th of July. If you guys are out here in the water, make sure y'all be safe at home. Everything. Make sure you don't burn your hand though. The for real. With the fireworks, don't burn your hands. Uh, I'm out here with the family today. We got Vit. We got Lily. We got the kids. You know, got to get the kids out. Can't let them stay home all the time. Let them enjoy the saltwater life. So today we're about to go do some kingfish. Uh, fishing for some kingfish. I'm sorry. And uh, we show you. We're gonna show you guys the rigs we're gonna use. What setups? What live bait to catch some smokers? You know, we gotta get them smokers. And also, I wanna show you guys something. I got this new stuff that came in from Amazon. And if you guys might be interested in. This is the Boom Fish Bag. They come in four sizes. Small, medium, extra large, and jumbo. This right here is the extra large. It's measured by 30 by 65. It has a strap to make it easier to carry in case you need it. It has an inch and a half thick. And also, what's cool about it, it has this drain plug so when you need to drain it it makes it easier and uh here's another cool thing so you could just fold this in it has two straps that goes like this let me show you guys and now you can store it anywhere and it doesn't take up a lot of room you can just store it anywhere on your boat it doesn't take a lot of room like a cooler would and uh if you guys are new to the channel Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and I will put the link for this bag in the description down below or maybe I just could do a giveaway it's up to you guys you guys let me know right in the comment what you guys want me to do a giveaway or you could guys could buy it well let's go fishing guys show you what we're going to be using today so for our kingfish rig we have a uh i have a shimano talica 16 spool with 50 pound uh diamond braid and a shimano therese medium heavy action and this one is a 6 6 50 to 150 pounds we have one a little bit lighter up there a white one that's tans there um, right now i have our braid tied line to line you get a uni knot this is some other random knot i've learned that's kind of like an fj mix in there um maybe five feet of it and from there i'm gonna go to a piece of wire you know, about like 80 to 100 pound wire um, you know, the king's got some pretty sharp teeth so what i do this is actually i fold one side kind of the same way i did my knot up there for the braid to the mono you stick your line in you want to hold this side where it comes in i'm going to twist it around a few times because i hate i don't like using swivels with these um i feel like the fish can see the swivel a little bit a little bit more um so we go it this way it's kind of like your line to line but we're gonna go line to wire and then from there you hold this end so it doesn't keep it from spinning from you and we'll spin it back towards where we had entered i did a similar knot for the braid as you can see up there but it's kind of hard to see with the type from there on just kind of pull a little bit make sure you lube it up a little bit just kind of pull you see it starts tightening together All right, I'm gonna pull it tight once I get a hook on there so I have something to grip. So let me put a hook on for All right, so I'm gonna use a circle hook. This is a A dot owner circle hook. I'm gonna use this for the top first hook. I'm gonna do a stinger rig basically. It's gonna be about six inches apart. Trouble hook's gonna be in the back because the king's usually about the fish have and leave you the side with the hook. So you need two hooks just in case. All right, this part's simple. Um, it's pretty easy. Feed the wire through, fold it back, just kind of twist it few times you'll see kind of line line up pretty nice next to each other Just the more the better Just I don't know if you guys can see there it's uh all kind of twist itself nicely up around there and it, it won't pull loose the more you go I say at least eight to ten times the more the better. So from there, <laughs> I'm gonna use this hook for leverage so I can pull this a little bit tighter. 
good. You got that too. You got that too. Yeah. yeah. Got the extra lino. You should be good, and then I'm going to do the next part. Um, I'm not a boy. So the second piece of wire, should be a little bit bigger, but you want to feed it through the, the loop where you did the of the wire there. Same thing, it's time to hook, fold it back, and twist it. It's fish busting over there somewhere. Yeah, you the leaning. I'm gonna put the trouble hook on. Uh, what the? Where does it hurt? I see him busting over there. Look, look. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's a big stuff. You guys see that? There. Can you guys see that? You see that? Something is busting over there. I knew I kept hearing something busting over there. Hopefully, some black fin tunas. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to get closer. I got a jig out, ready to go jig for them. Oh, a bunch of bonita. Hopefully, black fin. We don't get black fin here often, it's pretty rare, but if we do, it'd be nice. It's a bonus. It's always, always I'd rather take a black fin tuna for today. But you know, we gotta go get the kings first. It's been a minute. All right, let's get our bait. Caught a couple blue worms earlier. I'm gonna go with the smaller one. Yeah. Here's our bait, little blue runner. First hook, I'm gonna put right, right here behind the head. And then this uh, treble hook, a lot of people, I like to keep it kind of a little bit in the middle. You can just um, go like this. Good. And it should be so Hopefully we get hit right away. Usually we do. If you guys are interested in the hook Vit was using for the stinger rigs, uh, he was using these. Owner's hit, uh, hook right here, reef and rig, Nine and nine. these mustache trouble hooks. If y'all can see it. Times three extra strong. Here we go, guys. V just hooked up to a king. Uh, she don't got one. Do you got one? I got one. Do you? Yeah. She, she caught a yellowtail. Um, like... V's hooked up to a king right now, guys. We're hoping so. Yeah, we're hoping. Man, it sounded like that at first. Coming towards us now. I think it was way out. I let it drift way out there. Hopefully, it's a smoker. These fish hits a bait like a bullet in the water. Oh, yeah, it's a king. I got the blue line, though, for sure. Right here, there's a king, guys. We got a nice king, baby. Look at that color. Ready? Get him. Two points. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah! yeah On the first drop for the king, baby. Woo! These are really good eating fish, guys. They uh, protect you against cardiovascular disease and prostate oh cancer. These is just like a salmon and a sardine. They have high proteins, a lot of uh, good proteins in this fish. Y'all should be eating this fish, it's good. They're a little oily, but they're they're pretty good eating. Good size steak, right here, baby. them up, grill them, I think we smoke them, good fish. There it is, baby. There it is, Peter Famous Corn. This place is always full of kings. Look at that king, baby. Look at that thing. Ooh, thing eating think. good tonight. Make sure y'all watch, we're going uh, Tan, clean it after this. Sto gaff stone gaff, look at that thing. He stoned that thing when he gaffed it. That, that thing died instantly. Yo, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Time for king number two, guys. Can you hold it real quick? All right, he hit that thing on the surface. Kalina, what do you think she got? 
Big old kingfish or barracuda? Don't work. I want her to get a horse mackerel. There you go. Is it a horse mackerel? Please be a That thing was awesome. He hit it on top of the water. Did you see it? Yeah, that thing was crazy. They hit it. He chased it like four times. It's still there. It's just you have on low gear, so it's easy. Chachi, what do you think she, you got? How big is it? You think it's bigger than mine? No. We'll find out. It was running pretty good. I think Hurricane's gonna be bigger than it, guys. You heard that? It, it took off. It's nasty. I hope it's a horse mackerel. Vin, how big do you think hers is gonna be? At least 20, 25 pounds. 190. Guys, let's let's make it two for two, guys, for today. 100. I think 100. Kaylina, what do you think? How, how many pounds do you think Hurricane's gonna be? 100. You crazy? Are you for real? Yeah. You smoke. What you what you what you drink this morning? Hold on, don't let go. I'm gonna let go. Uh, okay. Here we go now. Hello, I see we're going to be fish right there. Really? It's right here. Right there. Just keep going. Right there. Don't. Keep really. Turn this way. Turn this way. Walk. Keep walking. Okay, now reel this way. Come on. He's right here. He's right there. Keep really. He's right there, Chachi. He's right here. Look. Big old king. Mm -hmm. Big ol' king! Yeah, baby! Yeah, don't let go! Get a hold of this! You almost dropped that rod, girl! Woohoo! Oh my god! Look at Jackie's fake kingfish! It's bigger than yours? It's about the same size. <laughs> How you feel on that one? Mommy's turn next. Alright, guys. Two for two. Time to make it three for three oh for today. Oh my gosh, look how lucky we got. Captain Francesca is on, guys. There you go. Come on, girl. Okay. Real, pull up. Put your thumb like this. Pull up. Keep it. And then reel as you go down. Reel when you go down. Go up. Reel fast. See, when you go down, see, and then pull up. And then reel. So go down and pull up. Pull up. There we go. Pull that way. Pull that way. Come I think Chachi. I think it's an olive you flounder. Pull up. Chachi, Put on your hip. There. There you go. Pull up. Or a horse mackerel. No, put it, leave it there. And then reel as you go down. Reel when you go down. <laughs> no. And then pull up. We already have a horse mackerel, Chachi. I see a shark behind it. Hurry up, Chachi. What? Reel, reel, reel. All right, come on. Reel, reel, reel. All right, it's right here. Keep going. It's a nice Ooh, yellowtail. Ooh, nice yellowtail. Oh my God. There you go. What's up, guys? We managed to get two kings for today. It was pretty good, though. Uh, we might head back in. It's getting pretty rough out here. See you guys back at Chop Suey Kitchen.